G'day guys, it's Matt here. We're just at the development block at the minute. We're just going to go ahead and uh, make sure all the, the paddock's right uh, before we come into plant. So we just yeah, got the drag bucket here on the 280 again. And uh, yeah, we're just going through. And uh, yeah, we've got a spray plane in the background there. Those guys are nuts. But anyway, so yeah, we've got loader there. Might be able to just see the dump truck just there. So yeah, we've gone ahead yeah, the last couple of weeks and we've been just yeah, tidying up a few sticks and stones and uh, gullies and all things and um, yeah, just using the dump truck to dump them into the, the big washouts and things uh, in the waterways. Probably going to run through with that the cultivator again, try to just smooth out some of the rills, the ones that are a bit sort of not worth getting with this. That's the plan at this stage anyway. Yeah guys, we're still here on the drag bucket trying to sort out some of this erosion. Um, yeah, we've got just a bit of an example here. Um, we've got a contour bank. It's, uh, yes, as obviously you can see here, it's pulled up with a bit of silt. And uh, yeah, then that water level obviously comes up because all the silt's here and then it just starts to push over and it, uh, yeah, blows out the contour bank. So that there is, um, yeah, probably good um, seven foot deep or so and um, yeah it's not real good so what happens is if we trace that all the way back you can see another contour there is blown out the one above that's blown out the one above that's blown out once one up, up the top there if it blows out obviously it all concentrates the water comes rushing through down to the next one and uh, yeah this is what happens so this part of the we're, we're at the development block and yeah this part we haven't actually got to with the dozers yet but yeah, we've got to do a fair bit, a fair bit here. another morning here we're just getting in the castiger here and we're um yeah gonna go cultivating some of that stubble country we're actually gonna uh, hook up a prickle chain on the back of this as well just to help level it out even more uh, just before seeding you want to get it nice and smooth we've been um using the uh kelly chain this is the kelly chain it um yeah it does a good job of just leveling out too and um yeah we're as you can see here the ground's nice and level smooth and that's what you want uh coming into sowing um yeah it's it's not uh not a usual year this one we wouldn't usually be all cultivating and um doing all this but just with the situation with the rain and all that we've um yeah sort of haven't had any other choice so usually yeah what we'd be doing is going straight into uh, like this it'd all be stubble and we'd just be planting straight into that with no yeah no soil disturbance really so uh yeah but this is what you got to do you got to adapt so that's that's what we're doing this year guys yeah we're still here cultivating um yeah no she's doing a good job here thought i'd just show you what we're actually trying to do here um as you can see see these reels they're about oh six six inches or eight inches deep um and they're just everywhere one there one there um you know there's a couple inches deep there so if we were to come in and try and plant on this, um, it wouldn't be very even. And you'd end up with a lot of seed just going into the air. So um, that's the whole sort of purpose of trying to get this nice and um, nice and smooth. So if we have a quick look here, you can see much the same. And then yeah, got the cultivator. And after the cultivator goes through, you can see you know it's still it's a lot better you don't have those those reels but yeah we've got these sort of furrows left behind from the cultivator so yeah and then the prickle chain it um yeah it, it does the rest it smooths it out finds it up a bit so you can see here it's uh yeah she's perfectly smooth
is there. The water hole. Where their parents are. There's been uh, plenty of wildlife around here at the moment. We've had pigs and everything. There we are. Yeah, hey guys, something you mightn't know, um, yeah, with the pigs and even the emus, is just how much damage they can do uh, to your crop. Uh, emus, when they run, their feet have got three claws, and when they run, they actually cut, can cut down a lot of the crop, and so they can make a fair mess of, um, yeah, of your crop. And yeah, the other thing is with pigs, is they they'll dig in the ground and then they laying about they can do a lot of damage so yeah they're sort of nice and cute when they're little like that but uh, yeah they get up to over 120 kilos all right guys we've got two runs left and uh, yeah it's been raining the last 10 15 minutes so yeah the race is on to finish this I uh, took over from Phil at about 4 30 this morning so he worked through the night. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to trying to get all this done. So it looks like we might just do it. Hello right, guys, it's uh, six o'clock in the morning. That's it, we're done. It's taken, uh, yeah, about four days of cultivating and we're done.